Hi, thanks for continuing on with us in our series on the Gospel of John with these at-home lessons from Grace in Motion. If you need to go back and look for the previous steps to set up for this teaching with the pray, go, and baptize pieces, go to the website gimsimple.net and you will find that in the page at-home lessons. So let's get started with the teach segment for this week. Our lesson is called Nick at Night and it's come from John chapter three. So first step is to, well, actually, no, before we get the Bible, let's do this question. As a group or on your own, reflect on this question. What does it mean to be born again? What does that phrase even mean? So go ahead and pause the video and have a conversation about that right now. Okay, so now it's time to go get the Bible. So find access to John chapter three in the New Testament, and you will go there and read John chapter three together as a group or reflect on it as your own, on your own. And then you're going to spend time with this question. What do you notice? So what are the observations you make as you read through it? And what do you wonder? So what questions are raised as you read through this section of scripture from John chapter three? All right. So after you've discussed that previous question, now move on to this conversation. What do we learn about people from this passage? And what do we learn about Jesus from this passage? So go ahead and pause the video and have that conversation now. So in John chapter three, there are a couple of key verses that stand out to us, mostly because of the popularity over time. John 3.16 is probably the most famous scripture verse of all time. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 3.17 is less noted, but it comes right after John 3.16 and provides some further context for it. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Reflect on those final verses and your experience with hearing those verses being taught through the years, and then wrap up your conversation today with blessing each other by appreciating, acknowledging, and um, recognizing how someone else did something or said something that impacted you during this time. As always, act with grace, simplify faith. Have a great day.